Welcome to Reread, where I'm rereading through the expanded universe in chronological order. We're talking about Republic, the Star Wars Republic comic book, issues 81 through 83. Um, I, this is basically happening during episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and a little bit afterwards. Um, I have this wrong in my timeline. I have it way down past, there's several other adventures I had. So I'm re redistributing it on the timeline to happen probably after the book Order 66, even though it could have taken place a little bit before then. It doesn't matter. It's one of those things that takes place during the movie and then shows the uh, conclusion afterwards. Basically, what happened to Quinlan Voss is basically the big story you're going to see. Um, it's him. He's on Kashyyyk with uh, du uh, Lum Lumeria with the uh, chin tattoo. And they're with Yoda fighting on Kashyyyk. Uh, you don't really see them because even though parts of the movie are there with Yoda and the stormtroopers and the Wookiees and everything, uh, off camera was General Voss and uh, Luminara or whatever. And so it's basically them during the battle. Vili is there because it's, it's basically a goodbye to all your, your favorite characters. He comes in. He's got his own little side storyline too. Uh, they're updating you on what's going on in the universe, like, oh, Count Dooku's dead, and that's how it kind of starts off. Voss hears the news and goes, it should have been me that killed him, but I'm happy either way that he's dead. And then, like, in the second book, I think General Grievous is dead. They're like, oh, man, the Clone Wars is about to end. And then they, he gets betrayed by the clones during Order 66 at the end of uh, the second issue. And then in the third issue, he goes after, you know, he goes, at, goes for revenge, uh, after the clones that took him out, and he thinks he's the only, he's the final Jedi, because Lemuria died, Aya Secura died, uh, Yoda he can't feel in the Force, so he's thinking he's dead too. Uh, Quinlan Voss has no respect for clones. They, they should take, take their orders and do as they're told. And there's a clone, he's just by the book, and of course he's going to shoot at Voss. And he becomes like the villain, you know, in, at, at toward the end, because he's always had it in. He and Voss have never seen eye to eye. Voss never cared about clones, and <clears throat> and so there's a scene at the end where you think Voss has bit it. He's dead, and uh, I remember reading it, going, "Huh, I don't remember him dying." And sure enough, it's all fake. He faked his. Vili helped him fake his own death, and he returns back to the love of his life. That when when we last saw him, he agreed to leave the Jedi Order for her after the Clone Wars was over. So he fulfills his promise. His son, Corto. Uh, so Corto is in there, and I was thinking, wow, you know, Corto Voss. They never spoke about in the EU. In fact, I don't even know if Quinlan Voss is ever mentioned later on, or wherever. Uh, told his fate. Now, I'm sure everyone in the comments is going to tell me how wrong I am. I just don't remember at this time. But Corto Voss, too bad they didn't want to use him anywhere. And you could tell that they really wanted Aya Secure to be alive too. If, if George Lucas had not loved her so much and put her in the movie just to kill her off later on, there is a 100% chance they would have kept her alive too. No author wants their you know own creation, their own Jedi, to die during Order 66. They have to survive. There's Almost as many Jedi who survived Order 66 than who died. You know, by name, that is definitely true. In actuality, they want you to think that most of the Jedi Order died during Order 66. But in truth, it seems like there were hundreds, if not thousands, of Jedi who were left alive. Now, how many Jedi did they start off with? 10,000? Now they're only down to one or two? Yeah, that's still a big slaughter, right? But it seems like every, you know, not many Jedi died. No, Lumiere dies in this one. Uh, but you know, Quinlan Voss is okay. They they say that Aya Secure has passed away, and he can Quinlan Voss can feel her death. But you know, overall, it's fine. It's like the Last Republic story was a better ending for Voss. If he would have died in this, I think that would have been great. I think it would have been a you know, shocking, sad tragedy of Quinlan Voss. But of course, you know, they had to flip a coin, and the author does not want to kill off their own creation. Maybe someone else in the books will pick up Quinlan Voss, and he'll be a fan favorite, be even greater than Luke Skywalker. I don't know. Um, but but as a whole, it was fine. The artwork's done really well. It was nice to see Billy, even though he's not as funny because he's not teamed up with Voss. He's teamed up with another Wookiee. And uh, he's better when it's just him and Voss with dialogue. But it was always good to see him. I hope this isn't the last chronological appearance. I want to say it's not, but again, I'm just, I, I didn't look ahead at what I'm reading, so I don't think, I, I think it may be, but I'm not sure. So overall, good, good, but eh, I would like to see him die. All right, folks, that's all for now. See you next time.